What is up guys, this is Xander Bennett back again with another deck tech from the Testing Grounds video that I did. This time it is the Glissopod Greninja list that I used in the video. I think the deck offers some strengths that are different than Zora Greninja, but I'm not entirely sure if this deck is better than that deck yet. But uh, just because it's Testing Grounds, I feel like these decks are both really interesting and I wanted to do this one alongside of Eric doing Zora Greninja. So, let's check it out. Starting off with a 4-3 Glissopod GX line. Glissopod GX is nothing new to standard. Uh, first impression, for 1 Grass, it does 30 plus 90 if the Pokemon came from the bench tier active this turn. Uh, then Armor Press for a Grass and a Double Colorless, it does 100, and you reduce attack damage by 20. I always think it's 30, you have to make sure it's 20. And then Crossing Cut GX for 150 damage, same attack cost, you switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So, a lot of really good attacks and some potential to do big damage throughout the uh, the middle parts of the game with uh, Crossing Cut and Armor Press just giving you some beefiness. Uh, and then alongside of it, there will be a 3-3-2 three, three, Greninja GX line. Uh, the Japanese list played a 2-2-2, two, 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 but I wanted to thicken it up a little bit just because I wanted to get the most utility out of these cards as possible. Um, they are very similar to the bats that were in standard for a long time. Um, the Frogadier has an ability that it has a water energy attached to it. It has free retreat, which is really good to retreating into Tapu Koko turn one. Then the Frogadier has the same ability as Golbat. Whenever you evolve into it, you put 20 damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And uh, Greninja GX has the same ability as Crobat. Uh, you put 30, uh, 3 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So um, those effects are really powerful whenever they were in standard. I expect Greninja GX to show up in almost the same numbers. Um, Maybe a little bit less because of the large HP buff, but with things like Espeon EX and Potown in the metagame, I think that uh, Greninja GX will find a place somewhere. This is just one place. Um, the two attacks on Greninja GX, the uh, non-GX attack is Grass of Double Colorless for 110, and or Water Double Colorless for 110, and you may shuffle this Pokemon into your deck. You don't have to, it's a May. And then the GX attack is also Water Double Colorless. You snipe for 130 anywhere. So I think Greninja GX is a really powerful attacker as well which uh, we'll come back to later. This deck does have many ways to attack with it. Um, next is One Greninja BKP. I have this card in all of my lists because um, it's a really good non-GX attacker that throws off prize trades. It also has Free Retreat, which can be helpful with Glissopod GX. I do use it just to retreat out of a few times in the video, but um, Shadow Stitching can prevent it from being able to be knocked out by a Zorak GX unless they have Kakui or something. Uh, and uh, Moonlight Slash is also just a nice two-hit uh, attack on a non-GX Pokemon. It just kind of helps to uh, make the math a little bit easier. Um, it's also good versus Quad Hoopa, but I said that in the last video, so I hope I don't sound silly. Uh, next up, three Tapu Lele GX. Um, sorry about the glare on them, because they're fuller and whatever. Uh, Wonder Tag, searching your deck for a supporter card, putting it into your hand is really good to help this deck and its uh, consistency, and then Energy Drive, um, 20 times the number of energy attached to both active Pokemon. Great in a pinch for a single double colorless energy. Lastly, we have one Tapu Koko, just for Flying Flip and Free Retreat. Uh, 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon helps your math a lot with things like Frog and Greninja, and then also just making your math for your Glissopod GX a little bit easier. And then lastly, one Mewtwo to round up the Pokemon, only used in here for Psychic, uh, 20, plus 20 for each energy attached to their active Pokemon, so really helpful versus Buzzwool and um, Ho-Oh, stuff like that. Uh, but that rounds out all the Pokemon. Um, the only crazy thing is the Greninja BKP, but I can see that being changed if uh, that's not your fancy. Um, moving right along, we have four Cynthia, three Professor Sycamore, and three N as your draw supporters for the deck. It comes out to 10. Um, again, no secondary draw in this deck, but the deck doesn't need a ton to get going. Just the uh, Glissabot is really good on its own, even if you can't get much behind it. So uh, I believe that 10 draw supporters with three Leles and four Ultra Balls to get them will end up working out. Um, for your support supporters, <laughs> you have three Guzma and two Acerola. Uh, the Guzmas are just really strong for being able to switch out of your Glissopod GX, but also retreating. And your Acerolas lets you pick up your damage Pokemon. Also, if your Greninja gets damage on it, you can pick it up too, which uh, we do have ways to damage our own Greninja GX, which lets us possibly reuse them. Uh, but um, Acerola is just a really good card. And then lastly, but not least, two Bridget, just to get our Pokemon out. Um, running out of space here, but uh, for our Pokemon search, we have four Ultra Ball and two Timer Ball. Timer Ball, you flip two coins, and then for each heads, you search your deck for an evolution Pokemon and put it into play. Uh, Evo Soda doesn't do as much good because the wording on Frogadier and Greninja means it has to be evolved from the hand, so using Timer Ball to put them into your hand 
helps set that up. Then for our tools, we have two choice band and two float stone. It's really sad that these have to be as low as they are, but just with the, the thick Greninja line that we are playing, um, they have to be a little bit lower. If you do want to try and slim out, you can cut the Greninja BKP and then probably one of each for maybe some more choice bands and float stones just to kind of help the consistency. Or uh, I've talked to some people who thought about adding in an Octillery instead just to give you a little bit of secondary draw, but a uh, choice band just adding up the damage. Uh, giving Glissabot GX a way to hit 180 is really good on its own, and then you just have math with your other cards that make this deck um, really powerful, and then two float zones just to retreat out of your Pokemon. Um, and then lastly, one Rescue Stretcher. For the sake of uh, getting back Pokemon, There's you might randomly discard a Greninja GX early game that you need to do damage in the late game, and Rescue Stretcher just lets you get those cards back. Um, now the heart and soul of the deck, the energies, we have four double colorless, four of the unit energy that came out of Ultra Prism, that is the fire, grass, and water one. This means that Glissapod GX and Greninja GX attack on the same energy, which is, uh, really good to power up both those attackers, and then three rainbow energy. The deck is entirely special energy. Um, I've seen Liss play grass energy, but I like rainbow just because I really like the attacks on Greninja GX. I think it is a very powerful attacker that um, is worth having outs to. It also covers your weakness in fire types, which uh, Ho is not weak to fire, but it, you can uh, do some things to Turtonators and Volcanians. But I think this deck is pretty strong. You have some sick math that you can do. So you can hit 210 in one turn with a Crossing Cut Choice Band or Crossing Cut with a Wind Shuriken, I believe is the name of a Greninja GX's translated ability. Um, and then just being able to do crazy things with First Impression, Choice Band, Frogadier, that's 170. That's knocking out Lele's, which you can do uh, just by bring it, playing a Guzma, bringing up their Pokemon. Um, I don't want to just rant off too much about this deck, but I do talk more about it in the article that I have written on Rare Candy's Patreon. You can check that out. Um, it is it is on there. It's about four different decks that utilize Greninja GX. That I'm all I'm really excited for all of them, and this is one of them along with Zorak Greninja. But um, that is it for this deck. So uh, again, look at that Patreon. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you have any questions, you may leave them in the comments below. But uh, my name is Xander Bennett, and signing out for Rare Candy. Peace.